Are you going to shake and quake and run? Or are you going to stand your ground? Amen. Yep. Time will prove all of the essence of what our life is all about. Yes. Find out if we really know the man. Yeah. And I guarantee you, if you can prove not by your conversation, not by how much scripture you can quote, but by the life that you live in the presence of people, this is your greatest teaching tool. This will draw a person long before your conversation. Because you got some that are out in the world that don't know a big thing about Christ, but they will rip you to pieces with this word right here. Know it, but don't know how to live it. We have to not only know it, but we have to live it. We have to put it in. <coughs> what, will, what do you call it? Uh, what do you call those when you are uh, teaching aid? The, the, the kind that you are. Uh, flannel Well, flannel graph, but what do you call it? Uh, visual aid. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Excuse me. Hey, hey this in the mind first thing to go. <laughs> we have to put before the world that we live in today. A reality in our life. And we can't be like the sons of Steve. It comes down to where they were saying, trying to cast out demons. And they said, we don't cheer you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preached. <laughs> oh, Oh, flying under somebody else's wind, and there's something to take it back. What do the demons say? Paul, I know. <laughs> Jesus, I definitely know. <laughs> now, who are you? <laughs> now, hey, yeah. Who that? Who that? That's right. And you know by some of our lives that we live sometimes, and the world is asking, who do you, uh, who, do, who is Jesus? And we're saying the same thing with our life. Who that? <laughs> Just by the life that we live. God is trying to get us together. Yes, Lord. And get us where we can tell the world yes. about a man that stepped up. A woman came to a well at the heat of the day. <coughs> Life was a little shabby. Mm -hmm. But she needed something. Mm -hmm. And you know what? When I read that particular, that particular story, it tells me one thing. There's one statement that's made in there. And it said, he need go through Samaria. Thanks of God, I'm sure glad that he needed to go through Williams Avenue. Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Glory, I am so glad <laughs> there was a need for him to come yeah. through yes. Williams yes. Avenue. Yes. Yes. On February 17, yes. 1963, yes. he stepped through. Thank you, Jesus. Man. And he did talk to me. Come on, it's 50 Sitting on the side of the well in my mind's eye, I can see the lady with a reputation come up with a jar on her shoulder and say, Oh Lord, here we go again. I didn't expect nobody to be here. I'm going to get my water, go home. I got away from the crowd. And then he spoke. Thanks of God, he knows what we need. Oh, yeah. He knows where to meet us. That's right. And he got the conversation Amen. that we need to listen to. That's right. Eve's conversation got her in trouble. Yes. 
There's some conversation you don't need to have. <laughs> There's some of them you have to cut short. That's right. And you have to do the gamble situation. Know when to hold out, know when to fold out, know when to walk away. In some situations, you got to know when to work. Because you can't handle it. That's right. And Eve didn't know when to run. And the devil knows how to tickle your fancy too. He knows when just he knows where you live. And most of the time, it's not because he knows everything. It's because you know, you've already taught him most of it. <laughs> and he also knows what the carnal nature is. Nature is all about. And he knows the spot to run to get things started. No. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Think about it. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. And if you stand there long enough, and keep the conversation going long enough, you'll have your and his word. Yes, he will. <laughs> Before quick get ready. And then he uses, he uses another tactic. And saints of God, don't ever let him do that to you. Get you off by yourself. Oh, Lord. With a heavy heart. And it seems like everything is falling. Isolation is what he wants you to be. That's right. Oh, but see that coming back to that one of chasing a thousand, two, three thousand. Get somebody there. Holler help. Don't be afraid. Because you're not going to make this journey on your, on your, own, on, on your own merit. No. No. You're going to need somebody there. You know, we sing the song, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. It's a fact. But sometimes we need something tangible, and God's going to give it to you. Once he finds out that you're not going to use that as an everlasting crutch, but just something to hold that you can prop up on till you kind of get your bearing and your strength back. That's all I needed for the Lord, because my whole, all of my source is in you. Right. But every now and then I need a tangible evidence of some flesh and blood close around me. Thank you, Jesus. And God, Lord, and they say, you know what? It's good to hear somebody throw them words of encouragement. Standing next to you and put their arms around you and say, can't do very much, but I'm praying for you. Amen. God don't see you through. Amen. God's got your back. Amen. All that, now, hey, all that counts. Yes. All that counts. Yes. But don't let the devil get you in a conversation. <laughs> all out of the middle of nowhere. Because he, yeah, hey, he got you there. Oh, but this woman, I would imagine in her mind, when she got to that well, she said, I'm going to grab my water and cut out. But the minute she hit the, her foot, stepped over to that well, he spoke. Can I have a drink of water? I imagine in her mind, she said, oh, Lord, here we go. One thing going to lead to another and then another. And she, he said, well, let me shut him off right quick. And how many times have you shut God off when he began to talk to you? <laughs> so how is it you and you going to talk to me as a man? Jesus is trying to get someone's attention. He's talking to a lot of hearts out here. Stop and talk to me. See what he got to say. He said that what told that woman said, uh, you don't know who it is you're talking to in the sense of speaking. And said if you knew who it really was, you would ask him for the water. Then she gonna get technical on him and looked over the edge of the well and way down in that well and looked at him and looked around him. <laughs> Said this well is deep. Hmm. You don't have a rope. You don't have a pitcher. Where you gonna get that well, get that water from? You know what in our minds, you know?